here's what I learned from the MAGA incident. It's okay for you to do whatever you want to if you think that your side is right and you're the biggest victim. Unless you're white or you're a Trump supporter. And in that case, no, it's not okay. Someone's supposed to be able to come up to your face, according to Joe Rogan, and, you know, Jamie and all those other people that were talking, Matt Berringer. Someone's allowed to come up to your face, beat a drum, get in your face, and you have to move out of the way. That's the answer. You don't like it? You don't like that someone's getting in your face and is taunting you and beating a drum really loudly and gets in your face? You have to move out of the way. And so what that means, and the fact that we're letting this guy get away with it, and the kid is not, you know, whatever, we're basically saying assault is okay. Assault is okay as long as you're a woman or you're anti-Trump. So please, go ahead and assault people because no one's going to do anything about it. That's the message, and that's the problem. And I'm letting you know that because of that, someone who didn't even have initially a stance on Trump, I did not like him, okay? At first, I did not like him because I believed what the media said. I learned. I figured it out. I know better now. Because I've seen such media bias and such unfair coverage and treatment constantly, I now feel differently. I'm like, screw that. And going from like, whatever, I don't want to upset my friends. I don't want them to, you know, get mad at me because I know how they all feel differently to, no, I'm going to speak out for what I think is right. And if you don't like it, then I don't care because I'm not going to let you bully other people because you think that you're on the right side and whatever. You get in someone's face, you have to understand that there will be consequences for it. You don't just get in people's face for no for the for the fun of it. You know, like treat others the way you want to be treated. I can guarantee you, had the shoe been on the other foot, that the people wouldn't have responded the same way. And to expect 15, 16 year old kid to act, you know, morally pious and just wonderful is shocking. I don't care what he did before, I don't care whatever. No. You don't treat kids like that. And for a grown man, an elder, someone who's supposed to be respected for doing good stuff and being right in a higher position, to get in a kid's face because he doesn't like his hat, when other people are taunting him and taunting their group just because they have this hat on, is cowardly. He is a coward. I don't care. And people like, someone blocked me on Twitter and they're like, yeah, they, they did this. And I'm like, no, no. Maybe they're upset because a man got into their... Or they're saying that people are only getting upset about it because it's a white kid. No, it's not because it's a white kid. It's because someone got into someone else's face because of their hats. If that's not um, bigoted, racist, whatever, all of those other things, then I don't know what is. You wear a hat and you're a white supremacist? No, that's how people... That's how people... That I mean, it's just... To me, it's a mirror. It's like... If you wear a hat, that does not make you a white supremacist. Now, if you judge someone for wearing a hat, that makes you a, a wannabe supremacist of whatever it is. You think that you're better than someone else because you can't handle it. You're so triggered that you feel justified in attacking someone and getting in their face because you're right. Because, oh my gosh, how dare them? Because they support their presidents. So now, thanks to you know people and their ignorant behavior and foolishness I'm like having to come out and say things and go against stuff and being willing to stand up to anyone who says it so now whenever I see my friend saying something whatever I'm like oh hold up no 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 we're gonna talk about this and you can call me whatever name you want I don't care I don't care names words sticks and stones whatever what I am now is someone who speaks up and here's the thing if you all that the media did was say it's okay to attack someone who is a Trump supporter 
it's okay to attack a man who's white, a kid who's white, because gosh, generations they've been oppressed and they're just dealing with their frustrations. Okay, so you didn't like being treated crappy for so long and now you're gonna start treating people crappy? To someone who didn't do it to you but because they are the same race as the other person? I hate to break it to you, but that's racism. That's prejudice. And you're all those things that you said that you didn't like about other people. So, hold on, I'm almost done. So, get it together, and if you don't, and you're not okay with people being bullied and people being targeted and whatever, we all need to speak up and let people know it is not okay to assault someone because of their gender, whatever, 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 whatever. And you treat others the way that you want to be treated. So if you get into my face, I'm going to let you know that we're going to have a problem. You want to disrespect me? I can disrespect you too. That's how I feel. You're going to do something? I'm going to do something back. I'm not going to sit back and let you treat me a certain way just because you're the bigger victim. No. Victims don't uh, taunt and assault and get in people's faces and attack. That's what bullies do. And you're a bully. That's all I got to say. I'll talk more about it later. And I see you guys. Hope you're all well. And uh, have a great night. I'm fired up. Bye.